Allow myself to introduce myself. Hey everybody, it's the Fobra here. Um, as you probably know from my last video, uh, the one I had a little fun with, I am using a Sony Bloggy. Sony Bloggy PM5. Um, it seems to be the hot ticket for me at least. Uh, I'm able to get the perfect angle that I want. It's, you know, because of the swivel, uh, swivel lens. And so far I really like it. Uh, a couple of thanks. David Howell CA for his awesome video on how he used his uh, Sony Webby as a helmet cam, which is the predecessor to this. Really helped me to uh, kind of fine tune it in the camera and things like that. <clears throat> Oops, let's see. Also, huge thanks to Navy Thomas 8. Um, I asked him for some information on the on the blogger because he has two of them. And uh, he was able to get measurements and uh, his impressions and, and his experiences with it. And he was great. He just was really he was really cool. You know, I really appreciate the help. And that goes back to, you know, the kind of community that we have here in motorcycle vlogging. Or at least it seems to be, you know, an amazing community. Um, once I got it, I also have to thank uh, Suburban Rider. Because he figured a way to work around. I started playing with, you know, converting MP4s because uh, Windows Movie Maker doesn't love the MP4s. So uh, he gave me a way to do it. Which was, you know, really, really simple to be honest. Which, well, honestly, excuse me, that bump in the road, and it seems to be working out well. And hopefully, you're watching this, which means I'm continuing to find success using MP4 to so the nose movie maker. Um, <clears throat> right around here, there are a couple of those uh, red light cameras you were talking about. I think this next one is. You can see, I'll hopefully, see the side. So I'm just going out for a quick ride. It's a little windy today, but uh, you know, I really want to ride. There you go, photo enforced. So, um, let's get past this before it turns yellow. Whoa, the wind just moved me over. It felt like it's pushing me over like three feet. Wow. It's beautiful out. We had some horrible rain last night. But, um, aside from it being up to 40 mile an hour gusts, it's a nice, nice day. You know what I mean? So, I'm just going to take it easy around this turn, which I normally love this turn. <clears throat> so, let's see. Um, I was watching, uh, the other day I watched a vlog by uh, Matt H1138, who I understand is the new owner of Motovlog.com. If you're not part of Motovlog, I would definitely check it out. It's a, a pretty cool community of motorcycle vloggers sharing ideas and experiences, and um, um, I, it's definitely going to be a positive force, you know, in, in what we do. Um, and uh, it's funny because I'm on it, but I'm not super, I don't have like a, you know, I'm not on it a lot. But I, uh, I think I'm going to make a real effort to become more involved in it. It's, uh, you know, I, I, I'll be honest, and I said this to Matt, I always felt like it was more of a UK site, because most of the people there are from Europe and stuff. But you never know. I mean, Matt's from the uh, US, so uh, <clears throat> we'll see. I'm seeing more and more people around from the US. Not that there's anything wrong with UK vloggers, please. That's not what I mean at all. But as far as the getting together and things like that, and uh, you know, sharing experiences, it would be cool if they were a little more local. So I'm going to try and uh, support that side as best I can because um, you know Matt, Matt H is uh, he's passionate about it, and <clears throat> it's it's really cool. It's really cool. So um, anyway, in his in his uh, one of his other videos, I was thinking about there's a, a vlogger named Trinit. I'm going to make a U-turn here just because I don't feel like going any further. Well, not a U-turn because it says no U-turn, so I'll pull into the parking lot. Matt um, Trinith is a motorcycle vlogger. He's got a uh, a VFR, a Honda VFR, and uh, if you know, he lost his first one to a an unfortunate deer accident. Well, he's got another one, and what happened was, come on, guy, let's go. What happened was he um, he found himself getting cut off by somebody. Come on, sweetheart, let's go. <clears throat> somebody made a uh, a U-turn, a totally illegal U-turn, coming around a coming around a blind corner, 
and uh, he slammed into them. You know, clearly it was their fault, but you know what? Um, thank goodness he's okay, relatively. I think he has a sprained ankle. I mean, it could have been 100% worse, or, or even, you know, really bad, I guess. You, you know, I, I'm, I'm glad he's okay. I wish him nothing but a speedy recovery. He's a great guy. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, I really enjoy his vlogs and talking to him on the uh, Motovlog chat. But, um, you know, Matt H is talking about it being Motorcycle Awareness Month. That's great, you know, and perhaps every month should be Motorcycle Awareness Month because you know how people don't look at, people have no idea what's going on around them. I mean, we're all guilty of it. Oh, that feels nice. We're all guilty of um, being somewhat oblivious to the world around us when we're in our, uh, in our cars or maybe even on our bikes. We try to be as, as um, aware as we can be. But, uh, Especially when I see another motorcycle, it's funny. I, I, I give them plenty of room because I, I try to uh, I try to imagine that's me. You know what I mean? And um, what I would want from a motorist. I mean, just the other day I got cut off. It was a New York City cab was around here, and this not so nice guy. I use that word. He cut me off twice, like really bad. I mean, I wanted to I wanted to kick his freaking door in so bad. I was so pissed. But uh, you know, you can't let your emotions get to you. You gotta just kind of let it go, <clears throat> you know, this guy, clearly this guy even saw me and he cut me off, so if it's Motorcycle Awareness Month, I say good, good deal, let's, uh, you know, let's, let's practice it every day, but, you know, when you got guys like Trinith who are getting, uh, you know, getting hurt, it's unfortunate, it's totally unfortunate, really, I mean, it's, uh, like I said, I, I don't know what's going on with his bike, but I do wish him a speedy recovery, and hopefully everything will work out for him when it comes to the bike as well. He's a rip, and I, I do enjoy his stuff, but uh, you can definitely check him out, and if you didn't do it yet, um, do it now. So, that's pretty much all I have to say now. Like I said, at least I got out to enjoy the bike a little bit, despite the, uh, the wind. So this is the Bloggy, Sony Bloggy HD PM5. Um, I definitely like it as of right now. And uh, as of right now, I recommend it. You know, if you can get a good deal on it, you might want to pick one up with this uh, swivel camera lens. It really, it, it's very suitable for an in-helmet camera. And it's not too big. I mean, it's, it's touching my nose a little bit, but uh, it's not totally uncomfortable. At least I don't think it is. So anyway, until then, keep your eyes open, keep your ears open, keep your head on straight, and uh, keep the rubber side down. See ya.